who I'm truly upset with is the fact that our government has decided to keep something so sacred away from the American people, something that could potentially alleviate and possibly cure so many people in our nation, but yet they keep this a secret. Uh, cannabis really became illegal in 1937 with the 1937 Tax Act, um, which was in place for many years, which was really just an oppressive t uh, a taxation that was high and also impossible to get. 1971, uh, Richard Nixon had his war on drugs and uh, they passed the Controlled Substances Act, which is uh, still in place to this day. And what that does is it puts drugs into various schedules. Uh, cannabis ended up being in Schedule 1. What Schedule 1 says is that it has a high potential for abuse and no medical value. The rationale behind medicinal cannabis is real. The science is real. We have found where the efficacy of this medicine in treating certain ailments is surpassing many conventional medicines without the side effects. We have found where individuals are not being treated for symptoms but are actually being healed. Why should we not allow this medicine to be available for sick individuals in our community? Nobody's ever died from cannabis. Over 158 or so illnesses that cannabis can help alleviate. And people should have a right, an option, to be able to choose this. My name is Colton Turner. I have Crohn's disease, and cannabis is my medicine. Cannabis saves lives. This is a message that we have got to get out. I've created several products that have caught worldwide attention, including Haley's Hope, which is a CBD oil that's used to treat pediatric epilepsy. Uh, we've treated over 300 children so far successfully. I was uh, the first CBD genetic ever identified analytically in the state of Colorado in 2010, and I created the world's first standardized CBD pill. Uh, it was a standardized dose, 15 milligrams CBD in, in each pill. Um, we launched that brand in 2010, and it's been used successfully to treat multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, uh, cancer, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Um, autism, multiple medical conditions, and that was a product that was a one-to-one -one ratio of CBD to THC. What seems to help my son the most is high THC. And when people ask me, well, your son's going to be high, I tell them, you know what? Why don't you take Branton's medication? Why don't you take Clonopin and all these other antipsychotic medication and you tell me how you feel. Well, like I said, I'm in Oklahoma and so, you know, it's kind of discouraged, obviously. And like I said, I had most of the people that I do know that have PTSD, they're afraid to go to get medical help. Either you're pro-cannabis or you're anti-veteran. That's how I look at it. Simple as that. my vets need. This is one that can help with PTSD, anxiety, depression, and pain. Uh, my dream is that cannabis uh, is recognized as a traditional plant medicine that it is and has been for millennia by all world governments and by the United Nations and World Health Organization and that we can stop treating it like a dangerous thing or something that needs to be monopolied away by a small few number of individuals or uh, companies and instead that it's treated like a medicine that belongs to the commonwealth. It is so important for the medical provider to understand the endocannabinoid system. It's the balancing system. It's the system that gives us equilibrium in our bodies and a system that we, as Western medical providers, were never taught. That's what I am most excited about is that this show is gonna get out to the mainstream and change people's perspective. This is not reefer madness, this is not cheap and charm. This is not stone. This is scientific-based uh, cannabis knowledge. And we're going to have fun with it, but we also want to give you a lot of knowledge.